Hi guys, in this week's episode of the training series, we're going to talk about bicycles. Uh, this is a really useful technique for roof climbing, overhang climbing, pretty much anything that's not slab. Uh, and basically what the bicycle does and what it is, is that it's a move that creates uh, stability by using the feet to simultaneously push and pull on a feature of the climb and uh, al essentially allows you to create core tension and to climb more statically through the roof. Um, so how it works essentially is that you take either one hold or two holds. We're going to demonstrate with two holds first. You take two holds and you have one foot pushing down and one foot actively pulling on the other one. Now the key with this is that you need to be active. You can't, this is not a passive toe hook or a passive placing of the feet. You really need to be pushing and pulling as hard as you can and engaging that core in order to create uh, ample tension to take weight off of your hands. And then once you've created this, uh, uh, this bicycle, you can move your hands uh, much through the, uh, through the climb. You can also do this on the same hold. So uh, as you can see in this climb, uh, he's decided to bicycle onto the same hold. Uh, and this kind of clamping force, you can think of this like a vice. You're essentially creating a vice on either side of the hold that's going to trap your feet and your legs there. The one thing to be aware of with the bicycle is that if you move too far out uh, away from your feet and you don't have sufficient core tension or you don't have good enough uh, handholds, when you eventually have to remove your feet from that bicycle position, there can be uh, quite a bit of a swing. Now, the way to alleviate that is to try and keep the toe hook uh, for as long as you can and move the foot that's pushing closer to you and core up on that right foot or the left foot, whichever you've moved closer to you, core up on that foot uh, in order to create tension between that and your hands in order to be able to disengage the toe hook that was once there. Now, if you have any questions about this move, then don't hesitate to ask down below. Uh, it's a really, really useful move. Try and practice it in the gym and just try and find problems where you can use it where maybe it wasn't uh, intentionally set. Uh, a lot of roof climbs, you can get away with it. Uh, it's a really, really cool move. Very, very versatile. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.